Welcome. On this video, we have part three of our ultimate California coast road trip. We're headed south today, leaving behind Elk's tranquil beauty and driving headfirst into a day of historical curiosities. Our drive down the coast highway is filled with scenic wonders. First stop, the Sea Ranch Chapel, a structure that looks like something out of a whimsical fairy tale, or perhaps the love child of an elf and an architect. There is no service here, except for admiring the unique roofline and wondering how many forest gnomes it took to build it. If you're passing by, definitely take the time to check it out. Then it's on to Fort Ross State Historic Park, where the Russians decided they liked California long before Hollywood made it cool. This historic outpost looks out over the ocean with a stoic expression, like it's seen some things. We learn about the Russian settlers who tried to make this place home, along with their Alaskan native help, to support their more northerly colony by growing grains and catching otters for their pelts. We toured through several houses for the managers and cannons they brought over to defend this tiny colony. And even the Russian church. They have one of the first windmills in California, similar to this replica. After this walking history lesson, we drive south to lunch at Tide's Wharf in Bodega Bay, a legendary restaurant that made its cinematic debut in Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Just imagine having a side of seafood with your suspense. From Bodega Bay, we drive inland to get to the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. It's been a marvel since it was completed in 1937 and was the world's longest suspension bridge for nearly 30 years and the tallest for over 60 years. We again return to the coast on the great highway to skirt rush hour traffic. It's always a weird sight seeing San Francisco homes right across the street from a sandy beach, complete with dunes and waves. A short half hour later, we arrive at the Ritz Carlton Half Moon Bay, where the waves crash against the cliffs like they're on a mission to knock the stately hotel into the ocean. We stayed in a suite located at the separate Ocean House near the Golf Clubhouse where we get an amazing view of the large hotel as well as the ocean. It was nice being away from the crowds of the hotel. The resort definitely reminds us of a Scottish seaside landscape, although we could have just been influenced by the piper at sundown. Dinner at the conservatory was perfection. Think locally sourced ingredients, incredible ocean views, and service so smooth it could charm the salt off a pretzel. We're living the good life here. The next morning, we're up early for a bike ride along the impressive coastal trail which passes right through the grounds of the Ritz. We cruise along paved and unpaved coastal paths, only turning inland to go around the canyons carved by centuries of erosion into these cliffs. It's truly one of California's top coastal bike trails. It ends up at the grammatically challenged small town of El Granada, where we pass through quickly to go to the short distance to the famous Maverick Surf Break, where the waves can be as big as a small building. Thankfully, we're on land and the ocean seemed pretty calm. Next, we pedaled up the bluffs of Pillar Point, where the views are so incredible that we ride along the even nicer bike trail. We forgot we had already ridden nearly 10 miles. After running along the bluff, we dropped down to the airport for our return to our hotel the way we had come. Back at the Ritz, we grabbed lunch on the deck looking out over the ocean and golf course, followed by some exploring of the grounds. That evening, we discovered the food window behind Mullen's Steakhouse. Here you can get delicious food to go for a very reasonable price. The added bonus is that we get to dine looking out of our room at the ocean and the hotel while enjoying this tasty bargain meal. We highly recommend their spicy fish tacos, although their breakfast burritos the following morning were great too. We definitely felt the Ritz Carlton was worthy of its lofty reputation, although there's definitely the feel of a chain hotel we didn't pick up at the prior hotels on this trip the lodge at Pebble Beach, and the Harbor House in Elk. The bicycle riding was superb in an area with countless local trails still yet to discover. We're definitely going back. If we missed something in the area, please let us know in the comments below. Join us on the final video of this road trip where we determine the best filling for sliders in Paso Robles, investigate Moonstone Beach in Cambria, and visit the largest mainland elephant seal rookery on Earth. If you don't want to miss any part of this epic road trip, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.